Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Zadari Herd, which against all odds is still alive. And under the watchful rule and the desperate fighting of their queen, Isvaliza, who has been throwing her ram horns one after another against the Berina, who have been pursuing our herd almost to the point of extinction. They have gathered around this tree to try to make a final stand and have actually taken out three of the Berina out of five who were chasing us down around here. We have another Berina right in front of us and we are going to have to see how we will react to this one. He is currently a friendly Berina because he is very young, but the moment that he becomes an adult, he will gain his sense of, of hunger and pursue us as prey. So we are definitely going to have to fight against him too. But we are indeed still on the rainy season island. And we did change the official number of days we will spend on each rainy or dry season island island to 50 because it allows a lot more story to develop but there is a very special exception that i think there's a good chance with 24 days currently remaining to her life that queen isvaliza might be able to make happen and that my friends is the ruler of the savannah event there are several goals, dreams, and legends that the Zadari tribe wants to focus on, but one of them is defeating six predators on one island and then being allowed to stay on that island for as long as the tribe feels they can gather the prosperous food. It would be a special event in which the rainy or the dry season would be longer than it has ever been before, the weather of the world just shifting as mysteriously as it does. And if we are able to defeat two more Marina, then a queen is Veliza, who may get really close to giving her life to that journey, will be able to give that grant of protection to all of our nichelings and maybe give us a chance to breed out some of these bad genes and have some sense of survival before the Zadari tribe moves on. So we're going to have to see if that is the case. We do have pretty much yeah, almost all of our females pregnant. Poor Nightmare is going to pass away very soon. She has two days left of her pregnancy before she will actually give birth to a rogue baby. We do have poor Elsha, who has given so much in service of her sister, trying to use that scorpion tail of hers to help defend her sister. Uh, and actually, we are going to modify it where this is the rise of an age amongst at least this Zadari tribe in which scorpion tails will now be recognized with some of, you know, ancestor Z's sassiness hiding somewhere back there. Because Z, I really feel like Z, if people would have let him, Z would have been quite the little attacker too, especially with his toxic fangs as well. So I think we're going to say that there is just an exceptionally sassy, brave line when it comes to the scorpion tails. And they, they too can attack. So now if you have horns, antlers or scorpion tails, you can be an attacker. And that's probably because of Elsha. She has changed how this Zadari tribe will see scorpion tail forever out of her bravery to defend her sister and her herd. So let's go ahead and see what happens next. Keeping in mind that Nasi has six days left of her pregnancy, she already gave birth to one child with na 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 no shoe. Oh, who unfortunately is poisoned. Ah! Uh, little Zafir, who has a lot of collecting ability. He's got some fun spots, uh, but unfortunately he is sickly, so we're going to have to see how we handle that. No birds overhead, so nobody might snag him. That's a good thing. Okay. Okay. A lot happening here. A lot we need to handle. First things first, let's take care of our sister. She does not deserve to be suffering for the way that she has defended us for so long. Next, let's get away from these insects and, oh geez, there's just nothing. Okay, good. And there is a, a little spot there that we're going to go ahead and try to get Nightmare up and around to. She has two days left of her life. Oh, she can make it. Okay, good. So Grandma Nightmare is coming. 
Zephyr is going to stay right where he's put. He might be, he might be a little baby who's, he's really good at collecting. I kind of think that he may be a baby who might eat some of the toxic berries. I know you guys hate it when that happens, but it is important in order to kind of clear the berries out now and then and work on some genes. And you know, a hungry, sickly little baby, he doesn't have a lot to lose for nibbling some of those berries. And I think that sickness, I did increase the environmental damage. So sickness is actually a lot more critical uh, here in this tribe than it is in some. All right, so how are we doing here? Oh, Zu, uh, Zuzali, Zuzali, you're an adult now. Your mother has had like no time to visit with you and you're already an adult. Zuzali is actually Isvaliza's daughter. Let's go ahead and give Isvaliza like little green icons. But she is actually uh, Isvaliza's daughter and she does have the big stinky tail, so she might come off as very distasteful to many, many of the nichelings and keep away unwanted mates. Speaking of mates, ooh, lean body and toxic body. <gasps> lean, mean, meaner body and toxic body. Speaking of mates, I do believe that Lara, uh, Larnona, Larnona, I should just call him Lars for short, right? But I do believe that Larnona actually does have something appealing to Zuzali, uh, and he is a little bit younger, so he did defend himself. So we're actually going to have Zuzali come over. Let's see, what can she do? She can collect. She's going to kick the tree to try to give us a little bit of food. She's going to try to eat those insects to try to get rid of them. And then she's going to come over to see what Larnona uh, is all about. And, uh... Lars, no, no, I kind of want to change his name again, but she'll just call him Lars for short. But he risked himself in a way by being bait. Perhaps not the most um, bold move, but I do think it has caught the eye of young Zuzali, who thanks to her grandmother nightmares protection has survived to see adulthood. She was definitely like very close to being eaten by those Barina. And speaking of the Barina, Elsa is indeed, uh, Elsha is indeed pregnant. Isvelra does, I think she does want to seek out two more of the predators and get rid of them. So they're going to go on a journey to the other, the other healing fruit. And they're going to do that out of the hope that they will be able to heal Elsha and she will still have a long, long life left to live with her sister. So those two are going to make a journey to the old healing fruit. Let's see. Is it down here? Oh, there's nothing there. Oh man, I was really hoping that we would have a little bit of food here, but alas, there is nothing. Fooey. Okay, well, it was worth going to check. All right, let's go ahead and grab some food here. Nasi, are you ready? She is not gonna be ready to give birth. She'll try to get rid of those nasty insects. And then Lara Nona, since that scary predator disappeared and you can't smell him, He's gonna jump around a little and do a little exploring. Can he crack that nut open? <gasps> he did it! Oh, we actually have a bit of an abundance of food. But even though there is a Berina nearby, they're not going to stampede because it does seem like the sisters have things under control. So let's go ahead and see what happens. <gasps> Nightmare gave birth! Oh no, sickly, oh, oh, healing fruit, healing fruit! Turn around, turn around, Elsa. There's a healing fruit, Elsha, there's a healing fruit. Okay, oh geez, and we gotta get away from these darn insects. Uh, okay, so, do we smell the predator? We do not smell the predator, but we do have a brand new healing fruit, so that's very exciting. I wonder if somebody ate the other healing fruit then. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Let's look at the new baby. <gasps> a horned female! Oh, huzzah! Even though she is sickly, we have a horned female named Kuta. Uh, she could actually be mates with Zafir now that I'm looking at it. That, that is a potentiality. Uh, Nightmare only has one day left to live. She's got a little sickly baby girl to keep an eye on. And little Kuta is the child of a rogue, unfortunately, which was quite sad. She is a horned one, though, so I do think that the family would try to watch over her as much as they can. All right, let's take care of these bugs. Lara Nona, you can do collecting, digging, and you can defend some of the berry bushes. So I think we're gonna have Lara Nona. Those are not edible berry bushes over here, unfortunately. 
There's only like one, two edible berry bushes down here. You know what? I think Lara Nona and Zuzali, they want to know where the predator has gone. Hmm, there's a couple of berry bushes over here. I'm going to have him jump over, do a little digging to kind of show off his way of gathering food to the young princess, Zuzali. I'm going to go ahead. She's not a horned one, though. So I feel like, actually, I'm going to take away her little princess marks. <laughs> Because she is not a horned one. There we go. The horned ones, in fact, I should probably start marking them, would be Kuta, who's now the sister, who is actually the sister of Isveliza. Hmm. Interesting. All right. And then we have little Zephyr. He could eat that, but we're not going to let him because his aunt really needs that more. And Zuzali can also collect... Nasi, are you ready? No, she's still got four days left of this pregnancy. Zuzali can also collect, but I think she smelled an interesting bush across the way. So I'm going to let her pop over here. Darn, it's one of the toxic berry bushes, unfortunately. All right, Nightmare. Being quite old and having done her best, she was actually the female who showed up to our bachelor herd who had nothing but males. And through her dedication, we have had the tribe survive this long. Now has th four children. She has a little Elsha, who is actually Z's only child. She has little Kuta, the child of a rogue male, but also blessed with horns, so that will be easily overlooked by the tribe. She had no 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 shoe, another child of Z actually. So there were two children with Z, and then she had the only child of Jara, the original protector, Isvaliza the queen. So that's really fun, and she has grandmother already, and she had one more baby, which I think she's happy about. So we're gonna clear the grass away for a second. Can I destroy this, please, please, please? Ah, dang it. <gasps> no, 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 shoot, no! I didn't realize that he had one day left to live from the poison. Oh, this is gonna be a travesty of untold margins. I didn't even realize that. Oh, this is so sad. Okay, meanwhile, Elsha is also sick. So we're gonna try to get her back. We need to destroy two more predators. So she's jumped up just in time to see her brother die. This is so sad. Why is this tribe so difficult to handle? I have no idea. All right, we're gonna clear away some of the grass so we can make it back and forth to that healing plant easier. And they need to find where that barina went. We might start leaving the rabbles, like defeating the rabbles and then leaving their, their bodies, which we don't consume, but we can defeat them as bait. Oh, this is so sad. We're about to lose two of my favorite nichelings. But all right. This is the moment, my friends. Let us say goodbye to Nightmare, who, thanks to her, brought our dreams of the Zadari tribe back to life. Without her, we would have lost the tribe when it was all bachelors. And she is the one who has at least given us this very thin, very shaky little branch to try to extend the family tree on. Nightmare, may you rest in peace and have sweet dreams. Uh, and we also lost our beautiful peacock tail male. Oh, this is so hard. I think that Nasi would be shocked to realize her mate just suddenly disappeared too. Oh, this is so sad. All right, Elsha, eat this. I can't lose you two. It'd be too hard. Too hard. All right, now Elsa, Elsha needs to give birth so she can't follow her sister into battle, even though she probably wants to. We need to keep the two sickly babies away from everyone. Little Zafir is about to age up enough to be able to start helping us out a little bit. And then Isvalisha, I feel, is going to start patrolling. Because if she can just find two more of those accursed... Get out of here, Bunnel. Of those accursed, like, predators, then we can stay on this island for as long as we want. All right. And Lara Noa, Nona... Larnona? I do think Zuali... Zuzali does think that you're quite appealing. Um, and there is quite a bit to dig around here. And I think Zuzali might want to do a little exploring because the predators aren't on this side. So, Lara Nona, hmm. But I do, I don't know, I feel like he wants to stay. That's a bunnel in the nest. Maybe a little close to Nasi? Huh. Yeah, we don't really 
I think Nasi's, Nasi's grief over losing her mate unexpectedly would actually probably win Laranona over, even if he is quite enchanted with Zuzali's beauty. Because I think he's a good guy, so he's going to stay and try to get rid of these darn bugs and keep Nasi company. And I think Zuzali will understand that, but she's a little curious. Oh, there's a whole bunch of good stuff over here. Wonderful. So she's got a little overlook to be able to like gather quite a bit there from. All right, how we doing? Just a little Zephyr left. All right. All right, how we doing? <gasps> little baby, Anamiel. Uh, Anamiel, what a beautiful name. So this is our little rogue born child. She has short sighted eyes, lean body, heat body of all things. Maybe it's a sign that we'll end up going to, um, going to the ice age in some point in the future. She does not have any pattern, <sighs> so there's not really anything to write home about with her other than the fact she can dig, which is which is not the best way to try to gather food, but at least it's something. All right, well, let's see what we've got. Hmm. Hmm. All right, the bugs are gone at least. Nasi, are you ready to give birth? You know what? I... Nasi's going to stay over here because she really, I think she's almost ready to give birth. She's just very comfortable under this tree. She's calming down a little bit now that the bugs are gone. We're gonna let Lara Nona maybe settle over here. Is that a rogue male? It is the rogue male again! He is coming! What? 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 <gasps> Prickle! Dun 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 dun! A king for the queen! A king who has the audacity to only live for five more days. But behold, a king has arrived. Oh. My. Gosh. Get over here, sister. Elsha. Elsha, get down here. Okay, I think that that, that Isabeliza let out a call that will actually summon, you know what? Pretty much all of the females. This guy's only got like a couple days left to live, but he has got those horns. This baby yet? He is the horned one? Like one of the horned ones. Definitely a king. And we're gonna get all of the babies we can from him, okay? <laughs> like everybody down here now. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, this is very exciting. All right, well, he, a king has just arrived, my friends, and I do think because he has the audacity to only be alive for five days, we're going to do our absolute best to get as many of those horned genes as we possibly can. He even has a bit of defense with his big body. There's even bundles, like, frolicking at our feet. We're going to have to see how this situation turns out. So, all right, next time, hopefully, hopefully, the king has arrived and is about to change the fate of the Zadaris forever. So if you guys could do please leave a like for the king, uh, a king for our queen, and she's happy to share because give us those horns! <laughs> and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, then you guys know what to do. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!